I was a troublemaker. I would always drink with my friends to the point that it affected my studies. And it took me 10 years to finish college. I used to believe that going out with friends and doing things we enjoyed would bring me real happiness in my life. But little did I know that abusing my body would have drastic consequences. In January 2006, during a family vacation in Bicol, I felt tingling sensation on my legs, which I thought was arthritis. So we went to the doctor and he told me that I have an enlarged spleen. When I came back to Manila, the, the pain persisted and my elder sister brought me to the hospital. The doctor requested for some lab tests and he referred me to a hematologist. I was told that I had a chronic melogenous leukemia, a type of cancer that starts from the bone marrow. At that point, I felt very depressed, knowing that I was going to die and would need a huge amount of money for the medication. It was the lowest point of my life. Despite the large amount of money that we needed for my medication, my family did not give up on me. Eventually, we opted to get treatment in a government hospital. The Lord allowed me to experience His grace and provision when we met a person who referred us to a foundation. Applying for that foundation's program was not easy, and it took time to be approved because there were many cancer patients waiting for the free medicines, costing hundreds of thousands of pesos for just a 20-day supply. But God was really gracious to me, and we got the approval in less than a month. My family and I were invited by friends to attend CCF. We were so blessed by the message and found ourselves coming every Sunday. But there was a period of time when I was bedridden, and it paved the way for me to start reading my Bible, and the Lord convicted me of my sinfulness. In God's time, I asked Jesus for his forgiveness and repented from my sins. I also developed a deepening relationship with God and learned to pray fervently. Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. These words comforted me as went through my recovery. My wife and I eventually joined a D-group in the Life to the Max ministry every Sunday. It was also during that time that we as a family decided to close our small trading business on Sundays to keep our Sabbath and worship God. At first, we were worried since sales during Sundays were the highest. But the Lord honored our decision. The business continues to meet our families and needs. Last May 2008, I was removed from the program that provided free medicines. But the grace of God, I did not feel any adverse effect on my body, even if I was not taking the medicine anymore. My lab test also showed normal results. And I am now a cancer survivor for 13 years and on my, and on my fifth year of remission. Thanks be to God for all of this. I realized that God has a purpose for healing me. I am a naturally shy person, but now I take every opportunity to boldly testify about God's goodness and faithfulness. Together with my wife, we are now serving and leading a D group in life to the max and helping and encouraging people as they go through their own recovery. All my sisters are now also serving God faithfully in different CCF ministries. Jesus gave me a new life to be a living testimony of how he shows mercy and grants healing in accordance to his power. I am Jonathan Ruiz, a person who had been physically and spiritually sick, but by God's grace, now healed and called to be a Christ-committed follower and his witness. To God be all the glory. Praise God.